Let's check in with Craig Setzer. I got a bit of a break, a bit of, at least at my house. I don't know about the rest of South Florida from the rain. Yeah, most of us got a break today from the, from the more widespread showers and thunderstorms. But we do have some little showers coming through right now. And these are just little small but briefly heavy showers. I just saw on Chopper 4 there for a second a pretty good downpour that is actually working its way west on Cayocho. So uh, the folks at the, uh, at the uh, protest and the demonstration going on right now in Cayocho are going to get hit briefly with some heavy rainfall there. Elsewhere, you can see the rain, not much going on in Broward. We've had a few showers here, a few showers in Miami-Dade as well, but the pattern definitely different than what we've seen over the past few days. In fact, look at all the storms on the West Coast. This is typically an indication that our pattern has shifted to an easterly flow. Easterly flow means uh, that typically we see nighttime and morning showers and storms here on the east coast and those uh, go over to the west coast so in the afternoon we see afternoon and evening storms on the west coast and the pattern that we're in right now is really not going to change much as we go through the weekend so you can plan your plan your activities accordingly your lower rain chances in the afternoon and evening on the east coast higher chances in the afternoon and evening on the west coast in fact there's the computer models showing showers and thunderstorms over the west coast there we are tomorrow morning, a few little showers go on in and then they go on over to the West Coast as well. Now, most of the time, the apps that uh, folks use, weather apps, they don't do a great job with this type of pattern here. So just kind of time it, <laughs> time it in your head that we're going to see our best chance for rain in the morning hours. Here's our Wind Jam Resort camera this afternoon, showing pretty good conditions out there. A few folks at the beach, 86 in Miami, 85, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 86 in Key West. Sticking a scale, it's come back up now. Feels like 95 and with the increased sun in the coming days. It's definitely going to feel warm. In fact, it feels warm this afternoon. Upper 80s to the mid 90s is what it feels like. We're going to see feels like temperatures into the weekend around 100 with our daytime highs around 90. There's a satellite loop through the day today. You can see the big thunderstorms over on the West Coast. This is also where the deepest moisture is. That's the moisture that was over us, but it's moving away. A little bit drier air comes in overnight. Then over the next several days, there's tomorrow. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we stay in the same pattern here with mainly nighttime and morning showers and thunderstorms on the east coast and the heavier activity over on the west coast in the afternoon. For us tonight, a few showers, breezy along the beaches, low temperature in the upper 70s. Tomorrow, look for a mix of sun and clouds, but definitely summery feel. High temperature around 90 and mainly, mainly quick morning showers blowing by. East northeast winds on the water at 15, seas running three to five feet of moderate chop on the bays. Through the weekend, no changes. This is the doldrums of summer. Highs every day around 90, lows in the upper 70s, and mainly morning storms. Back to you.